Hey there everybody, I'm Paradox and welcome back to Octavia in the Underworld show. So, in the last video, I got strangled by my reflection. That's kind of, kind of weird, you know, just like... And one of you guys like, reminded me and I was like, it's so familiar, like, getting strangled in a mirror. And apparently, that was from a, a game, a point and click adventure game, uh, it was horror. It called the Scissor something the, the scissors something I, I forgot one of you guys said that and, and i was like oh yeah that is so true it does remind me of that because i remember john tron uh no don't give give me that uh john tron made a review about that game it looks really nice too so yeah that was like a very nice back to back to the past so before we press on uh i just want to say this uh sorry for the no video yesterday uh, it was because i was trying to make another video uh, this time including my friends uh, my friend friend one one friend i tried making a video with a friend but it didn't turn out quite well uh, we were lacking we didn't have the microphone i don't have a microphone for him and i didn't have the earphones for him too so and the camera was blurry so that made things even worse so that's i just want to say i'm sorry for not uploading a video yesterday and sorry for wasting my friend's time so it turns out that uh, the developer helped me again and he told me that I just needed this. I, I didn't need, there was no flour. I just needed this noodle thing and give it to him. And apparently I'm time limited too. So here we go. Yes, you are you are amazing, Miss Octavia. This is going to the pot straight away after I make the, I take out the pail. Ah. You don't, don't you need to change the water? It looks murky. No, it's okay. I plan for the spaghetti to soak up the leftover nutrients from the potato. Plus, seeing as we don't have any real bowls around, I decided to take after your example and put the potato salad in your mother's in my mother's hat. Ha! I wonder how hot will take that. Hopefully she thinks such a style is chic and avant garde. Well, the potato salad needs to chill after before I add the mayonnaise, so let's open the freezer and put it inside. Alright. What? <sighs> Miss Octavia, a little help please? Ha! Ah, I know! The freezer is stuck shut. We need to open it if we need to chill the salad quick enough. Can you find a way to get this thing open? Yeah, okay. And I also realized that... Yes, I am getting scared a lot faster now because i just been here for like... Two minutes. Oh, actually, a minute and I'm already scared. So, there we go. Thanks. Hopefully it will cool down enough to apply the dressing later. Now for the sauce problem. This is where my father's secret co will come in the most handy. After, I'll look after the cooking. Go to my room and find a small pouch. That will be the key of fixing this. I have it right here. No, don't combine a screwdriver with that. Aha! This, this will save the sauce, I bet. May I ask what's inside? Sure, it's Papa's secret blend of exotic spice and salt. It's guaranteed to bring perfect blend into the heat and flavor. Two teaspoons of this and nothing more and Nothing more or less will make gourmet over its head. Okay, the sauce can't afford to stay in the stove any longer. I'm putting it into the plate. Can you tell Vino that to tell Hot that I'm ready to serve? Thanks. Ready to get your snack on? Because here's the appetizer. Potato salad in a hat? Interesting first choice. Ah, but beggars can't be choosers. They can, however, be judges. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Well, I'll say that quite appetizer, eh? You got several bits of mayo around your mouth, FYI. It was scrumptious! The food is nice and cool for the cooked dish. The potato had delicate balance of the firm and s o balance of firm and soft, and the veggies were flavorful. Also, the hat is a cute touch. Now, where's my next meal? Spaghetti a la mozze. I don't know what to What? Oh no, crate! A la crate! Alamode would suggest that there's ice cream in my spaghetti. Cartiem. I don't get you. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. How is this? No! Why? Oh, come on! What's wrong with the dish? It's pretty good. It's the sauce final. It's burnt. Even with this spice and flavoring, it still tastes like tomatoes covered in ash. After fix- Oh, this is because I took so long! Real can fix that's burnt. Forget about the honey vinyl. I'm eating it with all due- Gosh, wash out there. She, she didn't like it. I'm sorry, Miss Octavia. I failed you. I thought that I would be able to help when I tripped. But I tripped when I put the test. 
I'm starting to think that Mama was right. I should have listened to her and pursued music. Sorry, Nord, if I may be so blunt. You must simply stop blaming yourself for this. You tried your best with what you had, and the situation wasn't favorable to begin with. You had a talented skill and still, still untapped and full of potential, so I suggest you continue to do what you've done before. Follow your heart. Do what you want to do in life. There will be plenty of time for you to practice once we get out of here. You're right. I still stop feeling sorry for myself and take this as a learning experience. Bad dishes happen and I own self-taught. Either way, I'm going back to the study to read the cookbook you gave me there. Maybe I can pick up some easier dish to practice when it's all sorted out. I'll put the bowler hat knife on the counter if you need it. Thank you, Mr. Octavia. Ah, oh, I failed! Oh, and I can't go back because I don't have a save file that was before I asked. Oh, my. No! Then again, this is still a beta. This is not the full game yet. So as soon as the developer releases the full game, I know what to do now. And so do you guys who have been watching my Octavia in the Underworld Shello series. And thank you for sticking with me because... It's... It, it just... I, it's just still unbelievable to think that uh, some of my videos, you still watch my video, people will watch the video daily, even if it's just one person, just one view, that just amazes me, you know, because I didn't expect a lot of people to like, uh, just watch my videos, I mean, they could be watching Markiplier, or Jacksepticeye, or PewDiePie, who turned to Filthy Frank, I, I miss the old PewDiePie, but then again, I can't change him, and I will respect who he is right now. Just as I will respect Miss Hot for being freaking impatient. Damn it. Oh shoot. No! Stop hanging! You always ruin the recording when you hang. Ah, oh, it's just game, man. Alright, so in the next So the next thing we'll do, one of you guys gonna help me out here, it's like the uh, reflect upon the X symbol. I was wondering what that means, but if you use a mirror, it reflects me, so I have to use this piece of shard and put it here an X you place the shard of glass in the X and that reveals a reflection of the number written underneath the top part row. well that's one way to hide the secret message now to find out what these numbers really mean 385 so let me get this straight somebody in the drawer wrote the numbers backwards to make it look like 385 Can you do that? This is on a plate. This is a plate drawer thing. And then how were you able to do that? You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna question the game anymore. Uh, I I know the passcode already. Three, eight, five. Oh, and apparently uh, this this lock combination it's random. Every time you load in the game, it's completely random. You actually need to look at the password in order to uh, unlock this. So here we go. You click and swing the door open. Alright, I'll get this cassette tape. You carefully pick up the tape and brush up the dust. I hope this tape still be able to play. Okay. You pick up the straw and unravel it to peek as its content. Spirit's Bane. This might be the answer to keeping those pesky ghosts away from me. This is rather a fortunate find. If we can cope this, then no ghost will interfere with us in exploring the rest of the house. We'll just have to make this as soon as possible. I'm tired of all these ghosts always whispering in my ears. Yes, let's find a way to stop making the game hang. Oh, it's hanging. It's hanging. Stop hanging, please. Game. Game. Developer. <laughs> oh, damn it. Because every time it hangs, it like ruins the recording as well. Like my audio will cut and then the game and then the, ga the game recording will like be cut as well. So that also gives me a headache. But again, it's still beta. There's still room for improvement. All right, what's this? Although the scroll is torn, most of what's written intact. Cautious, most of written is intact. Cautiously, you take the un take the unraveled scroll. The scroll of the undead. I can't believe it. I found the scroll that the mayor in the recording was referring to. The ingredients are tomatoes, deadlier cousin, nightshade. I believe pollen sprout flowers inside you. Then the garden outside was. Tavia, a heart. The spellcaster's heart is required to complete the spell. Oh, I can't imagine making a sort of sacrifice. Such sacrifice was trivial when you've already lost everything you had. 
I suppose that's... Wait, there's an instruction on how to dispel the zombies made from this. If you want to break the curse, play the song in reverse. No other instrument will do, only the one submerged in the brew. Very good. Now we have a way to deal with the zombies and their masters. Find the instrument she uses to summon them and play the song of the undead backwards. Ah, one small problem. I don't even know what the song is. I suppose the notes are in the other half of the scroll. The master must have it stored in somewhere very close to her and her base of operation. I don't think it's in the house. Let's find it and show her what for. R right. Okay. The ghosts are really restless now. They're being a center. Wait, where's... Where's Sour Note? Sour Note? He said he'll go back to the study. Where is he? What's this? Well, I can't touch this anymore. I don't have frying pan. I'll take the hat and the knife back, please. Thank you very much. And let's see if we can make this ingredient for the anti-ghost thing. Let's read it. Spirit's Bane, if you need to drive away, if you need to drive away, things that walk the night to play, ghosts and banshees, shades and spooks, all will flee from this bright brew. Add the source, add the very source of life clear. Uh, ah, damn it. Add the very source of life clear and clean and purified make sure that the pipe make sure it's piping hot before you add it to the pot get a bulb of saints white get what get a bulb of sainted white cast out smell instead of light all grounded up into paste it it gives this mix a sharpened taste finally an old an ore of old white and precious rivals gold if the of the four that's like no other, use the weakest, gentlest brother. And the dogs are barking. I really hate them. I wish I, I wish I f could just free them. <laughs> Speak from the heart where the souls are from. Exterminare, exterminare spiritum. Well, that's it. Great. More stuff that I don't have and I don't know where to get again. Okay. A very source of light, clear and purified. Maybe just piping hot before you add it to the pot. Get a bulb sainted white, cast out the smell instead of light. D does it mean garlic? Alright, first let me put this thing back. Yeah, this garlic. I mean, it is white, I guess. So let's see what else I can do here. How about the other ponies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not you, you're an asshole. But later when the game comes out, I will help you. Now, can we help this guy now? Come on, can I help you, please? Please. Come on. Come on. Like, how do I trigger that? How do I trigger that event? Like, how? I guess I can't do anything with vinyls because she has nothing to do. Well, basically, because I can't do that one thing. Can I give this to vinyl? Ridiculous. Okay. You didn't have to say it like that. Ugh. So I guess the only thing I can do is, oh no, don't go there, is uh, try to get whatever is below that crow. Huh? Now that the doors of the parents' rooms open, you don't need to risk crossing anymore. Okay. Well, now I've reduced myself to the point where I want to steal an egg from a nest. The problem is that I'm stealing from the same crow that I pestered earlier, and I'm worried it will scratch my eyes out, which it will if I try anything funny. You gotta stop making enemies up there, TV. Anyway, if you don't want, if you don't have any food to distract it with, you could always try something really shiny that the crows will love. Crows love shiny stuff. Oh, I have something shiny. This brooch, I guess, or that metal thing that I have. All right, uh, let's go to the parent room. Let's uh, get all this. Yeah. The chains are shiny. No, I don't think the chains are shiny. They're just chains. But this brooch I have is shiny. Put it back. No! Put this back. There, okay. Let's try it. Hey! Crow, you want this brooch? The crow views your attempt forcefully as it and attacks and reacts accordingly. Ah! My eyes! Ah! Oh! 
fall! After the girl slashes your eyes out, you plummet on the ground screaming. You survive the fall, but you sprain your leg upon the impact, take the matters to worse your screaming pain, awoken a few timber wolves that are sleeping nearby. When you're confused in a wooden state, you're unable to escape the onslaught of all. Oh. oh. Oh, you repay your debt in blood for the inspiration of one of their pack. Oh. Ow. Okay. That, that. I guess the crow didn't like the brush. I mean, there's corn here. I can just get the corn. Well, that's a bunch of baloney. What do I do then? I don't know anything that's shiny. Okay, now I'm stuck again. I don't know the ingredient to the recipe, and I don't know how to activate that or how to do the event where I uh, hook up the changeling and the bat pony, and I don't know how to get this damn crow to get out of my way. Well, I guess I can end the video here. Hope that you guys can help me in the comments below. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching game. What were you doing? Game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up the like button to death. And as always, this is Paradomics signing out. Cheers, my friends. And Twilight, uh, she's a snake so and she's a beige hat. And I gave Apple Jack higher to a saddle and a gallon hat. So apparently, it's me. only Apple Jack can and wear a I mean, can only wear Inspiration comes from you. Ah, okay, so there's music. I can't hear this unless I hear Okay. Music is too loud. I can't hear myself. Brain damage. Alright, there we go.